morning, everyone, and welcome to the Windward Buddhist Temple's virtual Dharma service. This morning, we are observing Gotang E, the birthday of our founder, Shinran Shoning. We will begin the service by the singing of the Vedana and Tisarana, followed by the chanting of Sambu Jo and an aspiration. Namo tassa bhagavato arahato samman sambhadasa homage to him the exalted one, the enlightened one, the supremely awakened one, Buddham Saranam Gachami Dhamma Saranam Gachami Sangam Saranam Gachami I go to the Buddha for guidance I go to the Dharma for guidance I go to the Sangha for guidance Ujo mi no nyoroi ni udo jo Mm-hmm. 
gathered here to celebrate the birthday of our founder Shinran Shoning, who was born on May 21st, 1173, in the village of Hino near Kyoto. At the age of nine, he entered the priesthood at Mount Hiei and studied there until the age of 29. Upon leaving Mount Hiei in search of the Bodhi, he encountered the Nembutu teaching of Honen Shoning in Kyoto. Thereafter, Shinran Shonin shared the Nimbutsu teachings of the primal vow of Amida Buddha to all people. It is due to the birth of the Shonin that we are able to receive the teaching that enables us to transcend the realm of birth and death. As fellow friends and followers in the Buddha Dharma, we vow to walk the great way of indebtedness and gratitude. Namo Amida Butsu. Namo Amida Butsu. Namo Amida Butsu. Today's sutra is Shoshin Ge, and this is found on page 11 of the Red Service Book. Naman Dao, Naman Dao, Naman Dao, Naman Dao. Gongo Nai Shogesha 
Zenin Mjolfun Dari Kemida Butsu Hongan Nembut Jokeng Gyoman Nakushu Jo Shing Jo Juji Jininan Nanju Shinan Mukashi Namanda This morning, we're very fortunate to have a guest speaker here at the Windward Buddhist Temple. His name is Reverend Tomo Hojo of the West Kauai Buddhist Temple. He is from Wakayama Prefecture and is from a temple family. He graduated from Ryukoku University and attended the Jodo Shinshu Gonshiki Shidosho and the IMOP for foreign ministers at IBS. He also received a Bachelor of Arts degree from Musashino University. When he came to Hawaii, he was first assigned to the Hompo Honganji Betsuing before going to the West Kauai Honganji. He was there from the beginning of 2014 to the present. Good morning, everyone. I'd like to begin today's Dhamma talk with Shinran Shonin's words. Please put your hands together in Gashio. Seeing the sentient beings of the Nembutsu throughout the worlds, countless as particles in the ten quarters, the Buddha grasps and never abandons them, and therefore is named Amida. Namo Amida Utsu. Namo Ami Dabuts, Namo Ami Dabuts, Naman Dabuts, Naman Dabuts, Naman Dabuts. Thank you for giving me the opportunity to share a Dhamma talk with the Window World Buddhist Temple Ohana. I really appreciate Reverend Sumikawa and Window World Buddhist Temple's invitation to speak here. I was looking forward to seeing all of you and talking story with everybody, especially since I used to go to Kailua Honganji Japanese services. But due to COVID-19, we changed our service style from in-person to online. Windward Buddhist Temple's members have wonderful knowledge and skills, so I can share this Dhamma talk online. You are lucky to have wonderful people in your Sangha. I did not expect 
online services to become a major service style until last year. I feel that Shakamuni Buddha's teachings are true. He said that life is impermanent. Nothing stays the same. We are experiencing it in our daily lives. When you think about life being impermanent, I remember a poem composed by Shinran Shonin when he was nine years old. Today, we are observing his birthday, Gotan A service. Shinran Shonin was born in 1173, which is 848 years ago. This is a story about when he took his tokudo. Tokudo means he became an ordained Buddhist. He became a Buddhist monk at nine years of age. After his parents passed away, Young Shinran Shonin was brought to Shorei in temple by his uncle. When told that the ceremony to initiate him into monkhood would happen the next day, it is said that the young Shinran Shonin composed this poem on the spot. Cherry blossoms that are felt to last until tomorrow may well blow away during the night. Let me say that another way the cherry blossoms we see now may not last until tomorrow. The Shorei in temple head minister was so impressed that Shinran Shonin knew that human life was as brief as a flower. It teaches us that our lives are always changing. Since the pandemic, I often go up to Kokee to hike, and I enjoy seeing cherry blossoms there. When I see cherry blossoms, I remember Shinran Shonin's poem. The cherry blossoms are very pretty when they fall to the ground. The cherry trees bloom for about 10 days. It is because their beauty is very short-lived that their appearance is so precious. We also feel that the cherry blossoms are able to accept their life as it is. The flowers do not try hold tight to the trees. If the wind blows, the cherry blossoms come down gently in the wind and the ground is covered with bright petals. A Honganji member wrote a poem when he saw it. Wind and rain made the flower petals. Wind and rain scatter the flower petals. If wind and rain did not exist, flowers would not bloom and scatter. What do you think about this? Wind and rain made the beautiful flowers, but wind and rain also scatter the flowers. Even if we wish to see the beautiful flowers for a long time, we cannot. Can we say, rain don't fall, wind don't blow? Of course not. But when you think about it, if the rain and wind did not exist, then cherry trees 
would not grow and would not see those beautiful flowers. We tend to think of rain and winds as nonsenses. But after we hear the Nimbus teaching, we realize that rain and wind are essential for the cherry trees. This is not only a cherry tree story. It says the same thing about our own lives. Many pleasant and unpleasant things occur in our daily lives. Sometimes I have difficult work to do or get sick, and I think if this did not happen, I would have a more comfortable life. Have you ever heard a similar experience? Through the Nembut's teachings, we know that when unpleasant things happen to us, we may not be able to change them. So we must accept them and maybe even learn from them. When I think about that, I feel that we are like cherry blossom petals. Each of us have different colors, backgrounds, and shine with different lights. Shinan Shonin said the hymns of pure land. Seeing the sentient beings of the Nembutsu throughout the worlds, countless as particles in the ten quarters, the Buddha grasps and never abandon them, and therefore is named Amida. Each one of us lives in our own world. Thus, Shinan Shoni used the words countless as particles. He did not only mention Amida grasps all living things in the world. He also wanted to mention each one of us through using the words countless as particles. Amida Buddha knew that each one of us has different feelings and thoughts. Thus, he wanted to accept each one of us as we are. Thus, he said, if I am unable to save all of them, I do not become a Buddha. And he fulfilled his wish and became Amida Buddha. We call that wish the 18th vow or primal vow. Each one of us are embraced by Amida Buddha and receive a wonderful gift, which is the Nembutsu, Namo Amida Butsu. The person who guided this Nembutsu teaching to us is Shinran Shonin. Today, we are celebrating his birthday. It is a great opportunity to reconfirm how big Amida Buddha's great compassion is, how important Shinan Shonin's guidance is. Please put your hands together in Gashō. Namo Amida Butsu. Namo Amida Butsu. Namo Amida Butsu. Namanda Butsu, Namanda Butsu, Namanda Butsu, Namanda Butsu, Namanda Butsu, Namanda Butsu, Namanda Thank you. The gatha for today is Shusho Gotang E, followed by the Nembutsu.
Amida's directing of virtue to them by the power of the vow, the foolish beings ever floundering in birth and death hear the true and real virtues and realize supreme Shinjin. They immediately attain great joy and reach the stage of non-retrogression, so that without being made to sunder their blind passions, they are brought quickly to the realization of great nirvana. Thank you very much for attending this Gotang A service this morning. And we hope to see you again next week, next Sunday. As a reminder, it is our Remembrance Sunday. So if there's any of you that would like to remember a loved one, will you please email us the information and a picture if you have one. Thank you very much. In the meantime, please take care of yourselves, and we'll see you next week. Thank you.